Good morning YouTube and um, welcome to the first video shot on my brand new camera so hopefully this looks better than previous videos you're probably not going to notice not even 7am yet and already I can't wait for today we have got about 181 miles I think it said last night to go um, because today I become a train driver <laughs> when I was growing up we had a type of train that was, it always seemed to be on our line called a pacer and a pacer is a really weird looking train it is true it's made from old bus parts and uh, <laughs> It got like sort of redesigned over the years, but it was a legend for what it was. You know, British Rail needed trains built quickly, cheaply, for rural lines, but they never really were just for rural. Um, and just, yeah, that's where the pacer fitted in. And it did its job, you know? They transported millions of people around all over the UK. I believe some of them even got so sold to Saudi Arabia. And they didn't like them. <laughs> but we're the British, right? We love to stand in lines. You know, ask a British person what they're doing tomorrow. Stand in a line. That's what we do. Love it. And we hated the paces. And I don't really know why. A lot of people said that it was about the bounce. <laughs> complicated reason as to why the paces bounce so much but if you notice on a normal train where they have wheels they have two uh, pacer only has one and uh, yeah that's kind of why um, plus the suspension is like kind of soft so they bounce a lot and <laughs> they have this engine roar like no other train <laughs> but I do. I think it was announced just before lockdown actually that uh, Northern Rail, who were the biggest users of Pacers towards the end, were actually just going to scrap theirs. They had ordered in a train called the Pacer Replacer and it was the Pacers time to go. Of course, enthusiast here, kind of gutted about it, but the opportunity has arisen for me to be able to go and drive a Pacer. And that's what's happening today. So with all that being said, it is time to get on our way. So, roll the titles.
I'll show you guys this. This is why I love Wales. This place is just stunning. not too far from where we've got to go um, for this experience but um, I am just having a few stop offs because I just I love Wales I think it's a gorgeous place and the sheep some of you are going to be watching and wondering after this car has passed how are we able to get me driving a train it's a good question actually. So there is a charity in uh, South Wales and what they do is they buy old trains so it can be steam trains, diesel, I think they do, I think they have some electric trains but I don't know. Um, and they restore them and they do show days as you could call them which is basically like a display of you know, uh, electric trains today, or you might go and it's a diesel event, so it's all the diesel trains that are out. And when they're not doing that, <coughs> they do experience days, which is what I'm doing today. Uh, my experience is obviously going to be with the Pacer train, they have loads of other trains. So, if there are any train enthusiasts watching, which I think there might be at some point, I will leave the link to the website um, down below so have a little look in the video description bit I can't recommend them enough it's, it's just gonna be amazing so let's get on the road again it's really, you will see one see? oh yeah see it sticks so, <laughs> put it onto notch one wait till they hear the engine no change Josh is giving yeah. us an arm take up. the brake off right okay. put it going into notch two Back up again, put it into number three. Backwards. Oh, sorry, it's not enough power, it's just getting it going. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. you're in control. Wow. Oh, yeah. About that. <laughs> yeah, we've got, we need to light something. So now you're in control. When we start going round this curve now, it's quite sharp. Yes. So you have to give it a little bit more power just to keep it. Because we've got fi cause of the fixed, uh, fixed axles, all the wheels are turning exactly the same speed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah when we get up onto the straight then, you can do two or three stops and starts and just to get the feel of yes. the brake and whatnot. Yeah. The clip and all the light flash, and that's the gearbox relays it's because it's, it's straining against the yeah. more power. Yeah. It's just straining against the because uh, the track's drying out now. How's that feel? Really weird, but does it amazing? Yeah, does it? This is what you came here for. Absolutely. <laughs> Brilliant. I'll leave you to it then, you know how to do it now. Oh. <laughs> I'm alright to go to 10 now, aren't I? Yeah, you're on yeah. while you're doing 10 now, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. So obviously if you want to keep it to 10, all the locals will come out waving. So the little bit of straight we're going to go out. Yes. Yeah, there's a stop ball at the end of that. But once we get onto the straight, yeah. Just do a couple of stops. When yeah. you stop in, just power into the idle. Just stop one. Yeah. It will jerk in, but I'll show you that how to feather it. How to feather it. Yeah. Just want to see how your first stop's going to be. Everyone, everyone of you got a bit of a bit of a bit of a See the track's well worn now, isn't it? Because we've been up and down here like four times. <laughs> See those first sleepers there on the right? Yeah. If we can try and stop by one of them. Okay. Put your power down to zero. So 
so you can get a feel of the brake and then you can Not why. Why you remember is when you come to it, when you come into a stop. Yeah. Once you've stopped, always leave the, leave leave the brake, the brake on. Don't take it off, or else because yep. we're all up hill slope. Yeah. You'll start rolling backwards. So to get it going again, it's not put one, and then exactly the same as what you did before. But yep. as we're going uphill now, I put it in notch two. Okay. Right. Obviously, because we're on a bit more of a slope. Yeah. So go away with that then. Right. I had a click then. Well then, that's it. That's it. Oh, three. Is there? It feels like somebody's dragging a little bit. So I'll get back to two. They can't be temperamental these days. <laughs> After 40 years, they That's why they're still in use. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, they're still working. This is only one of the only operational 142s around. So you, you you can have a play around with stopping and starting and yeah. Brakes, even though you're only doing it to one, the harsher than I thought yeah. they were going to be. Yeah. This is what I mean. Once you once you put the brake on, you feel it biting. Yes. Take it off. Yeah. And then put it back on again. Yeah. And you'll feather it then. See what this power's like now. It's alright now. Yeah, take the brake. That's it. It's easy, isn't it? It really is. It's, it's easier than I thought it was going to be, which is. That's what I mean. The drive, yeah. in, the drive in the train is the easy bit. Yes. We go out in the middle of nowhere now and break down somewhere, you've got no to fix it. <laughs> yeah. So pick a point again. Yep. Preferably before the stop board. Yeah, preferably before the stop board. Just before you stop, I'll show you on the way down. Now, what I'll do on the way down, I'll lean across because we're in the 143 yeah. coming down. I'll just lean across you and show you how to feather it. Okay. And then to get a smooth stop. Yes. Because we're going to impress them then when we get down to the other end. <laughs> Alright? Yeah. So, have another go then. I don't mind doing this because it, it gets all the bits moving again. So air, air through the system. Yeah. Something just feel, feels really sluggish on it. The way it's pulling off. There you go. Gearboxes are running. Seems alright. The engine's still running. <laughs> now there's a, a tree just before the stop wall. There's a tree on the left hand yes. side. The last tree. Yeah. That's where we tell people to stop. We will be expend, extending up here now soon, another half a mile. And when you think when it started, they only had 100 miles. Yeah, this is all they had. all they had. Oh. Yeah. Well, we've got a brave one. You did it then, see? You actually, when you felt it bite, you took it off a bit. Yeah, yeah. And then... But that was weird. I, don't, I can't get my head around it. I always thought with the train, like, step one would just be mm, a little, little bit of a... Thing, yeah. but it's the good brakes. Yeah, yeah brilliant brakes. Yeah. So now we're at the other end of the line. Yep. We've now got to go to the other way. So we've got to change this cab around now. Yeah. So we don't want to be in this cab. So you, you revert, put the brake into full service. That's emergency. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Let's leave it in emergency. Go the other end. We won't get brake on. Right. Right. Your lights need to go onto tails. The DRA up there goes into on. On. So you've got your red light. Now you reverse it here, put it into neutral. It's going round to the left, isn't right, it? Round to the right. Oh, round to the right. Right. Okay. See where so it's pointing towards neutral. Yeah, and then and into then, reverse. Yep. Yeah. You're a clunk. Light a flash, and it go off. That tells me then your gearbox is now pointing that like, way. Yeah. And, and then around again, again. Into off. Yep. Yeah. You know, I know you're in off because that DRA light then goes off. Ah, so right. That okay. tells me then the your desk now is shut off. That. Yeah. Now you can take that key out and turn it about 45 degrees and it'll come out. Brilliant. So that's your desk now all shut down. Yes. We're ready to go back the other way. Wait to the local to open, open the window. Hiya. 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 Next Saturday. Alright. Yeah. Traps. Yeah, we got Easter Bird. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I've done my driving experience. Um, it is amazing uh, to be in full control of a train. They did it me three little goes back and forth. It's only about a half mile stretch of track. Um, but you do like three goes. First one, he's literally stood over you, watching what you're doing, telling you what to do and how to do it and all that sort of stuff. The second one, he will sit on the other side of the cab and ask you tell him to tell him what you're going to do next. And then your final one, he sits on the other side of the cab and doesn't say a word. Um, and I think I did quite well. Sonny, how do you think I did? Terrible. Typical. Just like you're driving. It is um, an amazing driving experience if you enjoy your trains. So, like I said earlier on, have a little look in the video description bit below. I will put a link to their website. Um, go and book. It is also a charity. So, give generously. <laughs> Uh, but that's it, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next Wednesday.